Welcome back, First Grade. Um, so we have been talking about uh, solving word problems using different strategies. And if you remember earlier this week, we talked about um, solving problems and we've learned to use strategies such as the number line, the tens frames, using pictures, and we were specifically talking about using base 10 to solve our problems earlier this week. Well, today we're gonna to start talking about subtraction and we're gonna continue using um, our base 10 to solve. Again, um, as you were working with me, feel free to use uh, different strategies if it works for you. But uh, again, as you, you will find as you read story problems and the values get bigger, um, before it kind of turns into mental math, uh, to visually see the place value um, with your base tens, uh, it will definitely become more automatic for you once you start seeing those, uh, those numbers as values, okay? So let's go ahead and remember, let's think back, we're going to continue to see word problems that does not have a known amount, or we also call that a known an unknown value, okay? So as we're reading our stories today, we're gonna to continue to visualize, um, write an equation that matches what we hear in our story, and then we're gonna draw a picture to represent what we heard, okay? So let's go ahead and let's take a look at our first story problem. If you have something to write with, if you have a math buddy next to you, um, that would be great. Uh, again, if you don't have anything to write with, use your finger and work these out with me. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. It says there were 34 race cars when the race started. During that race, 12 skidded off the track. How many cars finished the race? Okay, let's go ahead and you close your eyes and visualize what's going on in our story and see if those groups are coming together or going um, apart, going away from each other. Okay, ready? Close those eyes and use your eyes inside. There were 34 race cars when the race started. During the race, 12 skidded off the track. How many cars finished the race? Okay, open up those eyes. Um, let's go ahead and circle or underline the information that is given to us. So first, uh, how many cars started the race? 34. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to circle that. 34 cars. Okay. And I'm even going to underline when the race started because that gives me a clear picture of the group that I am starting with. There were 34. During the race, 12 skidded off. So Hopefully, when you use your eyes inside, you saw 12 skidded off the track. So I'm just going to underline 12 skidded off. How many cars finished? So we want to know how many finished. So let's just underline how many finished. Those are just kind of important words that tell me what they're looking for. So we already visualized it. Now let's write an equation. What was my altogether number of group that we started with? We started with 34. Okay. In your mind, did you see them coming together or going away from each other? Right. The, when the car skidded off, that group left the racetrack. So we are going to subtract. Okay. And how many are we going to subtract? We just talked about it. It is those 12 get it off. Here is my, here is our question mark to represent the, the amount that we do not know. So how many cars finished the race? So now let's go ahead and represent and show our place values. Will you place value those for me? All right, so that means we are going to label them, our tens and our ones. Okay, let's look at my 12s. Let's label that place value that. Your 10s and your 1s place, okay? Now remember, sometimes this is tricky. 
we're not adding a group, we are taking away from that group. So let's first represent our 34. How many tens do we have? We have three tens. So let's draw three tens. And I hope you're working with me. Okay, so is that, I have three tens. How many ones do I have? Four. So let's draw four ones. One, two, three, four. I have four ones right there. Okay, we are taking away from this group. We are taking away from this group. I'm taking away how many? I'm taking away 12. So let's go. How many ones do we have are we taking away? We're taking away one group of 10. So let's go ahead and represent. Let's cross out one group of 10. How many twos, how many ones are we taking away? We're taking away two ones, or we also say two units. One, two. Okay, check your work to make sure. I took away one 10, and I took away two units. So now let's see how many are left. Okay, so let's go ahead and take off our question mark, and I'm gonna label this. I'm gonna place value this, so I can just put in the amounts that I see of my tens and ones, and then we'll count to see if we're, okay? So how many tens do I have? Let's count. One, two, I have two tens. How many ones do I have? I have one, two, two ones. Okay, what is our numeral that we wrote? We wrote 22, so let's just go back and see if we have 22. Let's count together, ready? 10, 20, 21, 22. Okay, so read this equation with me. 34 minus 12 equals 22, okay? And I represent that. Remember, we're not adding anything to it. We are taking away. So let's go ahead and answer the question that we got. Because if you remember in class, we started restating using a complete sentence, not just using that number. How many cars finished the race? How many cars finished? 22. So let's go ahead. If you have um, space on your whiteboard or your paper or draw, write it with your finger on the carpet, or in the air, let's write, there were 22 cars who finished the race. And I'm gonna write that in a complete sentence. There were 22 cars that finished the race. Okay, so we restated our question. Let's go ahead and try one more problem, a subtraction problem. You're going to have to listen closely as I read this. Follow along with me if you can see it, okay? There were 62 Easter eggs hidden in the yard. The little kids found most of them. There's that word most. When the Easter egg hunt was over, there were 12 eggs left. How many eggs were found? So let's go ahead and hopefully you visualize that as I read it. If not, we're going to read it again to identify what information is given to us. There were 62 eggs, Easter eggs, hidden in the yard. So that is our first piece of information that we know. Our altogether number is 62 eggs. They were hidden in the yard. So next, the little kids found some. Let's go ahead and let's circle found. Um, oh, found most of them, okay? But we still don't know how many that is. When the Easter egg hunt was over, there were 12 eggs left. How many eggs were there? So I want you to think, hmm, how can I fill in this equation? How many did I start with? We started with 62. Were we adding or subtracting? Okay, did those were, did more eggs come? No, most of them were found by the little kids, so we're gonna subtract. Do we know how many eggs were found? No, but we do know 
that there are 12 left. So our equation is 62 minus, we don't know that amount, equals 12. Let's go ahead and place value it. Tens and ones. I have 62, and I'm gonna place value this. Tens and ones, okay? So let's go ahead and show six tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then two ones. Let's go ahead and make sure you write the value. And remember, do not do all your little squares. You're gonna waste time. And that is going to um, get a little confusing if you try to put 10 squares. So just write 10 in each to show the value. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, okay? We don't know this group, but we do know another group. We know that there was a group of 12 that was left. So we can go ahead and take away that group of 12 to see what is that other group, okay? What's the other part that is left? So let's go ahead and take away. How many tens do we have here? We have one 10 and we have two ones. Let's cross that off. One, two. Okay, so that is our one group that we know. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna circle what that second group is. So let's go ahead and count how many tens. One, two, three, four, five. I have five tens left, so I can go ahead and erase my question mark. Let's put five tens, and do I have any units? I do not. So there we have our subtraction problem. 62 minus 50 equals 12. So to respond to our problem, how many eggs were found, we could respond there were 50 eggs found during the Easter egg hunt. Okay? All right, so um, that is how we, um, you know, solved our subtraction uh, word problems. Um, as you work today, you can, again, use your place values, or if there are other strategies that uh, work easier for you, by all means, please feel free to use those strategies. So first grade, happy math. And if you have any problems on your subtraction word problems, feel free uh, to reach out to me. Thank you. All right, bye.